Hello Linux users, I am Abhishek from It's Force and I am going to show you some really basic Vim commands that you need to survive Vim. There is no end to learning Vim and you can be an expert and use it as an IDE to your complete programming in it. But if you just want to survive Vim for some simple edits and opening files and doing some changes into it, this is what you need. So this basic Vim guide will help you survive Vim in Linux terminal. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's begin. Chapter 1 begins. I'm opening an existing file with Vim. Vim has two modes, command mode and insert mode. When you open a file with Vim, you enter the command mode by default. In command mode, you can give it commands We'll see that later, but you cannot enter new text to it. To do that, you have to press I and you will enter the what they call the insert mode. You can see that you are in insert mode by looking at the bottom of your terminal. So in insert mode, you can type text to it and you just enter new text in it. If you want to come out of the insert mode, just press escape and then you will see that there is no insert mode anymore because you are in command mode. There are other ways to enter insert mode. You don't need to know all of them but if you know it will be fine. With A it goes in append mode. The cursor will appear at the next cursor place. With I it will go into the beginning of the line. With A like capital A, that is shift plus A, the new text will appear at the end of the line. And if you press O, a new line will be created after the current line. And if you press shift plus O, a new line will be created before the current line. You don't need to remember all of them, just remember that I means insert mode, and escape means command mode. With that, you are good to go. Let's move on to the next chapter. Once you know the insert and command mode, let's see how to move around in Vim. You need to scroll the existing text, move from one point to another, and this is what we're going to see in this chapter. So, the Vim purist will advise you to use HJKL for moving around, but I do not like that and it's not very convenient for new users. You can use arrow keys for moving around in both command and insert mode. Without any problem, it is more convenient and more conventional. If you want to go to the end of the file, simply press Shift plus G. Or if you want to go to the top of the file, if it's a big file, you just need to press GG. Like just and it will be, the cursor will move to the top of the file. Well, if you're dealing with pages like just what you're looking at the screen and if you want to move to the top or to the beginning of the page, the screen size, you can use the H or L command, H for high and L for low to go to the top and bottom. You can also use the M key to go to the middle of the page. You don't need to always remember these, just remember G and GG to go to the beginning and to the middle of the file and of course you can use the arrow keys for moving around in Vim. Undo your changes or redo your changes. So let me open the file again and I'm going to make some stupid changes here so I'll go into the insert mode and I'll just enter some gibberish here like blah 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 doesn't matter and okay let's call it change 2 and another change change 3 now I don't want these changes these are unwanted changes so how do I undo these changes first switch to the command mode and now press U and you will undo the changes. If you keep on pressing U, 
you'll keep on undoing the changes. If you want to redo those changes, you just have to press Ctrl R. So keep on pressing Ctrl R and you'll keep on redoing it. So you keep on pressing U and you will undo, keep on pressing Ctrl R and you will redo the changes. Plain and simple, easy to remember. Now let's see how to delete text and vim, which is plain and simple if you just want to delete some text. You can use the delete key to delete text in both command and insert mode. You can also use X, simple X key in command mode to, for delete. Uh, you can also use backspace key in some terminals but it, it doesn't always work. So if you want to use the backspace feature you'll have to go to the command mode and then use shift plus X. So if you use X, that means you're deleting at the cursor position itself, like a delete key. But if you want to use the backspace key, you have to use the shift plus X and then it will delete all the text before the cursor position like this. So now you know how to delete stuff. Let's talk about deleting the entire line just have to press D twice, DD, and you will delete the current line. The entire line is gone. You can also use D dollar and it will delete the entire line from the current position, the rest of the line. And if you want to delete rest of the file from current position, just have to press D with shift G. So from here, it will delete it's, it will delete from the end this line to the end of the file. So you just have to use X or the delete key or shift plus X to use it as backspace key. The rest you can remember for getting more out of it but it's not necessary. You Let's see copy pasting in BIM. If you are in the command mode, you can use YY to copy the entire line to Vim buffer and then you can use P to paste this uh, whatever is in your buffer on in command line mode. That's one thing. But if you want to copy paste external text, it's not the same because what you copy in your clipboard and from your from the outside Vim, it won't be copied in Vim buffer. So you need to use the copy paste shortcuts of your Linux terminal. For example, uh, in Ubuntu, you can use Control Shift C for copy and Control Shift V for pasting. So go into insert mode. I had copied some text from my website. And I'm going to paste this here using the shortcut, the terminal shortcut control shift V. So I used external text with the shortcuts here, copy paste shortcut here, but I can also copy paste with these shortcuts inside the insert mode. So I just copied mystery of the blue train text in copy in using the the terminal shortcut and I'm using the terminal shortcut for pasting to paste the copied text here. That's all you have to do. Now let's see how to find text in Vim. If you're looking for a particular text or word or words, you can simply use slash here. So slash capital D small h e the I'm trying to find this D here. So I'll just enter 
press enter and it will match the first match from the cursor position now if I want to go to the next match I just have to press N and if I keep on pressing it will go on matching all the matches and if I want to go back to the previous match I just have to press shift plus N it's really easy you notice that it's case sensitive it's not matching the D in between this sentence here so how do we match both words here so for that we can use a simple trick and that is to use a special flag called C so backslash C and you just enter THE press enter and that's it now if you go press N, N to go to the next matches you will see that it's matching all THE irrespective of the cases here it's easy so you just have to remember slash and then you can perform your search and then you can use N or shift N to iterate between the matches and if you don't find your match it will say that the pattern was not found quite easy now that you know how to find text next we'll see how to find text and replace it so we call it search and replace of course and there are numerous ways to do that I'm not going to show you all of them I'll just show you one of my favorite way of doing that and with this you should be good enough to do a basic search and replace so you can use regex here so the percentage s means you will perform a search in the entire file and then you will provide the text you want to find search that means and the next one should be the text for which you want to use to replace the existing text and then there are three flags which is useful here the G means it will do a global search so you'll have more than one matches C is confirming your action I'll show it to you what it is in the next scene and then I is for case insensitive search so let me press enter here and it will match with the first match and then if I press Y it will replace the search if I press N it won't replace this match and then if I press A it will replace all the matches and if I press Q it will just quit the search without replacing anything and then I will replace the match and then quit at this point the next two are not very useful so you can see the C the flag is very useful in confirming the actions just remember this and you will be good to basic search and replace so now that you know almost everything you need to use Vim let's see how to exit Vim there are quite a number of jokes on exiting Vim and you will understand why it happens like that normally you can just use a control C in terminal but that doesn't work here in Vim you have to do a in command mode colon W and it will save the changes that is fine but how do you quit it once you do a save you may want to quit it and for that you should use WQ that is combined save and quit like this that was save and quit but what if you do not want to save your changes in that case just try to do a quit okay I made some changes and I try to do a quit here and it will warn me that there are some changes that was not saved that is fine I don't want to save those changes I just want to quit it without saving any changes so for that I'll use escape colon Q and exclamation mark that is force quit so now you know how to save your changes and exit them it's not straightforward but once you know how to quit it you know how to use them you have won the battle. I hope this basic Vim tutorial helps you survive Vim when you are up against Vim in a Linux terminal 
and with no other text editor to help you out. With this, you can survive that much. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux tutorials in future. Ciao ciao for now.